Giving back has always been part of me. The people in here, they, they're not afraid of the oh, Negative plus, negative, negative equals to positive. Ah, what the fuck? Negative. Ah, I forgot to plus. So it happens. So it English. It was a um, point of compliment. You can make maybe $100 a day. When you turn trades, afternoon, get test, you get it. Just need to build a routine. This is your boy that go Andy so, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. No, bro, you know what is going on? What's good, everybody? I'm back with another back another video. You know, guys, there's VS, there's VSOP, and there's EXO, and I'm the EXO of Forex Trading, King of Price Action. If you didn't know that, you are the only one in here who don't know. So basically, guys, we had to rent a boot, um, not a boot camp. We had gave out to 20 people our classes so this is actually the vlog of what happened on that day when we were hosting um 20 people at our offices it was actually crazy it was insane it was a nice experience and i genuinely changed 20 people's lives for free so it was it was crazy the giveaway happened so guys make sure that you click the link on the description um, to join or be part of the team, it being Telegram or join the Pro Trading Foundation. We always give out all the time and just make sure that guys, also we need support too, you feel me? Yeah, I'm always giving you YouTube, I'm always giving you everything, so. Yes, sir. So guys, enjoy the vlog and make sure you stay safe. Every <laughs> 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 lady I'm loving is What's going on everybody? This is your boy the goat and he's uh, in, in as much as I'm hurt, but it is what it is. So basically guys today we gave out um we, we gave out how many chairs? We gave out 20 to 20 people um free classes for hours. So basically today we're having a class with them and we got a sponsorship from HF Markets, which is, is um hot forex market. They actually sponsored us with um 20 goodie bags as well and um for the clients and to, for the betterment so basically guys everything will be broken down after this video of actually what's happening so basically this is how we did our giveaway we're going to be breaking down how we went about and how it's going to be going and yeah as you know i got my team i got the lady do do your introduction <laughs> What up guys, what up, what up, what up, what up, it's Jovis SA, Mr. CEO, you know me guys, uh, King of Prize Action number 2, yes, how are you? <laughs> what up guys, let's keep it short, this is Tebza, your probably as FX Memento, Danko. Danko, no! It's KK, not Kakati. <laughs> Kamelo Kennedy, so you know what it is, it's uh, KK here, so guys, um, please um, make sure that you trade with us, we do what we do best is to give back to the community. We don't want everyone to be um, envying, envying us for, for, for free. We just want everything to be <coughs> good for everyone and give back to the community. You know, we want everyone to grow in this industry. So let me give it up to my brothers. Uh, uh, sure, sure. What up, what up, guys? This is your problems when talk to kids, so guys. Hey, guys, today is the day, guys. So make sure you follow us if you haven't followed us on just do your thing and you'll see your things popping up like this yes sir sure. yes. what's up guys this is papi your progress fx mentor speaking welcome we have um <laughs> market <laughs> we have a new sponsorship ne, from hf markets yes. so we are about to give this to our 20 students yes sir so thank you guys so you already know what's going on guys, let's get to it, our people are waiting for us here, yeah, I look crusty as hell, but the money ain't looking that way huh? Yeah, 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 yeah But, yeah guys, the story time is much as you already know Okay But to give them price action, yeah Come on now, pop's in Yeah <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> The people in here, they, 
they're not afraid of the camera because what are you talking about? You're What's going on, everybody? This is your baby girl, Elisa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm sorry, but I'm just kidding. That's how you doing? Are you guys chilling? Yeah. Yeah. No, man, you're looking fresh. You're not looking like the next money. You look like the next money. Hey, some of you have been texting with you for a while. Hey guys, they're not out here. Talina, oh wow, oh wow, nah, bro, can you open that window? Damn, it's hot. And you're the only woman. Are you a focus? Are you a focus? You are definitely focused. So, hey man, guys, congratulations, man, with the additions and everybody else. Um, congratulations. Um, I hope you won't take this lightly, though. That's just my cross fingers to that cookie card. I hope I'm not taking an investment out to waste. That's what I'm hoping for. So, in as much as I won't, I won't remember your names, man, but I'm just gonna ask for the sake of respect. Okay. Bro, no, what's your name? Oh, you no, I'm serious. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elisa. Hello, Elisa. While in the presentation of names, there goes your CEO, Jovis. I'm Jovis. Alright, nah, that's good, guys. And uh, me, I'm Andy, a nigga from London. Well, lele. Hey, you mentors. Ah, what? I'm kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, man. So, basically, what's going to happen today is the fact that. Uh, most people, let me just tell you the, the truth behind the whole in-person thing. Man. When you see me live, giving it to you, it feels real, right? Not that it makes you learn best. Now nah, it's the feeling. You get what I'm saying? So we are giving you guys every our package worth three thousand five hundred for free. Get that for free, and just to. So we are giving you that for free. So bear in mind, you outwork yourself. We're gonna keep an eye closed like this. Guy. Hey guys, me and the team are looking at this guy's busy day on, on our shit. You might as well soon come join the team. And I'm sure that's if I was to say come join us, what would you do? I'd come. Definitely. <laughs> you understand? So we're on a lockdown. And yo, guys, I actually have bad news. I got an accident this morning again. So as I was making my way to the office um, in order to give the giveaway classes and all of that, I had to encounter an accident. I had an encounter of an accident whereby an old man bumped into my car so already the day was just a bit off so don't mind me switching on and off my day was just bad to a point that i was like it's the second accident in a space of four months so i don't think this car is the car i gotta have otherwise next time it's gonna take my life too so this is what happened guys so yeah Game. Oh, it's the worst thing. I'm trying to be chilled right now, but I'll deal with those later on. But it is what it is. So, yeah, so we're gonna walk th through everything right before we go to the official signing in, you guys, to our pro training foundation. It's clear, right? Yeah. Because I, we want to break it down to a point that when you go there, you are not clueless. Because if there's a structure or to say a culture, I had with the team is the fact that you can't be taught by me but we trade different it doesn't make sense yeah, yeah. for me it doesn't make sense you can't say you learn from me but you trade this and I trade that it doesn't make sense I want the point that when I come to you speak the same language not that 
you get your 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 guys' mental. <laughs> we know simple terms in trading: sub, uh, resistance and support. Someone will come, hey, order block. Hey, what is this? Supply zone. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop trying to sound smart. In simple terms: it's resistance and support. Finish. Simplicity behind the charts. I feel like that's what attracts most of you in, in, in our analysis, in the way you trade. Yeah. Because the more simpler it is, the more stupid you will be like, so I've been blowing my account with such a stupid thing. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's just the erasing of that. So there's three things that you are getting today, which is I think they are the most significant thing, right? Number one, how to read pure price action. How to read price action. So you'll get it. Okay. Per se, a strategy is an approach. A strategy is an approach of how you get to execute trades and manage them. That's a strategy. That way, it is a high confirmation that we want to Why? Because the last price was a correction. We also want to track things like, do you know this thing of um, positive plus positive equals to positive or negative? Positive. 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 Negative. Positive. 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 Positive plus positive equals to positive. Yes. 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 That's positive yeah. plus negative yeah. equals to negative. Negative. Yeah. Negative. Negative, negative. negative plus negative, negative. negative equals to positive. positive. Ah, what the fuck? Negative. <laughs> negative. <laughs> negative. Yeah. negative. Unless you multiply it. Yeah. Negative. Unless unless you multiply it. Yeah. Unless you multiply it. Yeah. 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 It is gonna confuse our number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait. Positive plus positive is positive. Yeah. Positive plus negative is negative. It's negative. It's negative. It's negative. It's negative. It's negative. It depends on what we are doing. Okay. One of the things, guys, we're not talking about that. These are us. What is what do they call this thing? It's only changes. One of the instruments. These are the instruments. Like there's this science thing. I'm trying to show you. Hey guys, simple. <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> positive plus positive. It's positive. positive. Ah, it's negative. Hey, man, oh, for you. It's the same thing. Oh, but unless, <laughs> and, wait, wait, unless you multiply. Yeah. Yes. Because it's like one times one equals two. One. One. Yeah. 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 So if you want to it, positive times positive. 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 Yeah. So if I was to say positive, multiply by negative. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. I sorry. The way I was explaining it, it's starting to confuse me because I, mean, I, I didn't say it like that. But what I'm trying to show you is, we're gonna give you also the secrets behind the price movement. For instance, a correction plus a correction equals to something. You know that. An impulse plus an impulse equals to something. something. A correction plus an impulse equals to something. Same thing as an impulse plus a correction equals to something. And probably these are the formulas you never. Ah, African plus. So it happens. So English. I'm cool with it. Okay, okay. Let me speak English then. I'm trying to English. It's that one, man. So uh, guys, I'm gonna teach you simple things that like worked out for me before. Those who follow me know me. Ne. Those who follow me, they know me and they know what I can do. So I'm gonna teach you things that work out for me. But obviously we trade the same. So we trade the same. So my approach is the the man of approach in terms of sensitive areas. That's the, the most important thing to me. Already you know there's an impulse, there's a correction, there's an impulse. That's basics for us. But in the matter of approach, this is what I'm talking about. Um, when you have a sensitive area, let's say you have a resistance support. Obviously, 
let's say the market is ranging. What do you expect when you get here? A buy. But when do you confirm a buy? That's the question. You get it? So my strategy is simple. Sensitive area, if you approach a sensitive area aggressively, which is impulse, you expect a correction that will break a sensitive area. That's the first important thing. Ne? And then after breaking impulsively, what do you expect? A correction that will retest a sensitive area. You get it? So it's the same as me saying this. You broke out impulsively, and then what do you expect? A correction. Sometimes you get another impulse. Do you get it? What do you expect? A correction that will retest the what? A sensitive area. So it's more like head and shoulder inverse. Do you get it? So it's you being, a, being able to determine uh, the manner of approach. You get it? So another thing, uh, let's say it's a, it's a high, a low, a high, a low. And then obviously this you expect mm -hmm. uh, you expect your, your market to break uh, uh, this high and hold another one. Eh? Mm -hmm. But let's say your market decides to come correctively here. What do you expect? <laughs> you, you expect the reversal. Mm -hmm. So if your market comes aggressively to sensitive area, you get it aggressive, you expect a correction. Mm -hmm. So your correction should break that sensitive area. But if the market comes correctively to your sensitive area, it means it's losing momentum, but while approaching a sensitive area. So bear in mind, you just have to focus on sensitive areas. You, you expect impulse to the upside, considering that there's a sensitive area. You get it? <coughs> Sometimes you, you think it, you, you have a breakout. Only to find out when you sell that breakout, boom, opposite direction. Because of what? The manner of breaking out. So basically, the manner of approach. Let me just say that. You get it? So your <coughs> breakout should be impulsive all the time. Because impulse contains a, 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 a change of direction or momentum. You get it? So your breakout should be impulsive. Then after that, what do you expect? A correction that confirms a continuation. You get it? So when you continue, it means you're still going to the same direction. When you reverse, it means you switch the direction. That's the most important thing. And at least your, your correction should be somehow accommodate sensitive areas, maybe it should be deep and form head and shoulder, you know, that's how you confirm most of the time. Sometimes you can also retest the trend. You get it? Yeah. So that's the most important thing. I'm done. And I think Jovis uh, has covered most of the work, simply because uh, what he has discussed is what I plan to discuss. It was a um, point of confluence. Point of confluence, if you can never look at the meaning of confluence, it means uh, the intersection, right? So he covered that, so I don't think I'm gonna go deeper into that because already he explained it in a manner of approach, uh, format or methodology. But I'm gonna just um, briefly uh, uh, discuss it how I want you guys to see it and how I see it. So for instance, if we have a um, resistance over there and obviously here we have a support, how the market approach, approaches this uh, resistance here is what uh, Chavis has discussed. But you have, you have a look at the point of confidence. If the market is uh, uh, approaching this area like this, Automatically expecting a sale, mm -hmm. but already it's a point of confluence here because we have a, we have a um, resistance and we also have this channel over here. So it means we are going to sell. So that's all. I can say I'm profitable, but sometimes so. <laughs> so, so we have we have the the mass psychology that we can discuss this well. But that one I'm not gonna dive into. So sometimes there's you need to wait for the market. You need to be patient for the market to give you what you want. Because firstly you need to have a trading plan. If you have a trading plan, you know what you are expecting from the market. You have a plan A, you have a plan B. If your plan A is not working out, you go to plan B. And if your plan B is not working out, I have no plan C, trust me. Yeah. You need to relax, you need to have other opportunities. 
So patience is the first thing, obvious. And then um, another thing is form. You need to avoid the fear of the sea. Just because the market is now in the last year, you're expecting an correction at all. But no, you know, it's just keep on drop. Then you just don't get the body. Obviously, it's going to be just something to see if you're somewhere and then you After that, you just back to the world. You don't cry. So, it's a phenomenal one. Um, the capital is safe if you're not going to be. Because sometimes, you're not in a good state, personal, you know, you have personal problems. And most of the time, you're speaking in your own terms. You need to speak to yourself. And uh, women as well. Sometimes women are not trained as well. They, they want to make pictures so they can you know, resolve their, their issues. You know, because a lot of things are, are, are financial more than anything. If you are struggling financially, then psychologically, automatically, you are also struggling. So, I feel guilty sometimes when I'm not here because I feel like this is what I do today. This is my job, just like someone who works every day. We have a counter trend like this. This is a, 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 a bullish market. These are the, the lows and these are the highs. This is the counter trend. <laughs> you sell to some media, depending on the sensitive area that you have, you're looking at. Right? So, when you sell there, you need to reflect like this. And then you buy it. Just like that, don't fall into the market shows you the person. So sometimes because we are forcing the market, you can see that here the, 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 the market actually came to, to this area and it passed it. And then already you are expecting the market to pass because you are seeing that this trend line here is going to be <coughs> very because you drew it from maybe the, the rules also somewhere here. When you get there, you start buying. And when you do that, automatically you have trapped yourself because you haven't seen what the nature of the market does when you test it. This is another point of confidence that I want to defend. It's the, the trend line, it's just the area. So when something is happening, you need to relax. You need to wait for uh, either um, confirmation to the upside or confirmation to the downside. Yes. Uh, I have a question. <coughs> as, as a trader, are we predicting the next direction of the market or are we uh what can i put it or are we no no or are we uh reacting to a signals of what the graph is telling us because because okay. uh for example you just say that we have a resistant and a support mm -hmm. so what we do as new trader when the price is at the support you know that we have to buy right so most people can go aggressive because it's a sensitive area because the market has been respecting that. Sure. But my question is, are we reacting to what the market is telling us or are we predicting the next direction? I think the, 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 question, the, 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 the answer to that is you are answering you are, you are using what the market is telling you to see what the market is telling you. You want to change that picture? You know, what he was not as with that, market is a probability. No one is right. No one doesn't need to change. We are just even the strategy. That's why there, there are different strategies. It's because we try to find the way in which you can predict what's going to happen after. No one is going to uh, what's going to be the mm -hmm. direction. No one. But that's why this is the next one. Because you cannot go come and tell me gold is selling, go all out. Then I sell. Then I will put my account. Then I come to you, oh, you say God is going to say, ah, you mean to us, what, 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 you see? <laughs> yes, I'm not controlling the market. I'm giving you what I saw on the market. Guys, always, mm -hmm. I always say this, mm -hmm. you trade what you see, mm -hmm. not what you think. Yeah. Not how you feel, not how you feel. Thanks, I don't think I'm even gonna lie, okay? Because I'm just gonna talk about entries, and when I talk about entries, I, I'm specifically going to talk about financial management. Financial management. You know, as traders, we think that you can make maybe hundred dollar a day, and then you be consistent with hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. What? The question is, after saving hundred dollar, what do you do? You keep that money into your trading account. You withdraw, or even you withdraw, how much do you withdraw for the next day? Remember, you have to keep on trading. Can I ask, 
Google is a Google does have an active account now. You can see that I have an account that is active that has a maybe some capital. Like it has some capital. It can be team but only zero so <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as a trader, at least you need to have maybe three accounts, different accounts, three accounts. You can have a main account, maybe you can say a same main account, and that one, maybe you say this one, you can just deposit $100 and go all in. You know why? Because <clears throat> let's say uh, you have a 9 to 5 job, you earn on a monthly basis, right? Let's say, for example, you earn a thousand right? So on that thousand, you say, okay, let me deposit two hundred. On what you have, remember you have one account. Uh, if you're going to risk your, you have a risk capital. Two hundred, you can open with one, zero comma zero one, and then trade it, and then just go, just go, just. But then, what does Instagram do to us? No, there's one million to uh, just two hundred to five thousand in a day. Mm -hmm. I'm going in. Bear in mind, you have a thousand. That helps to last you the whole month to go to work. Then you took your 200, blow it in one day. What does it do, what does it do to your psychology? Effective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of it's a little bit to see, okay, now I'm securing 200, the account is doubled, then the market yeah, it does. You get more positions, obviously, here. Yeah? <laughs> then the market it blows you here, yeah? it blows you, and then check. The same characteristics, the same characteristics that blows you come back and close inside. Yeah. Then, wow. The account is blue. Psychology. Yeah. Now, the second characteristic closely with the relation of winter. Psychology. Let me just deposit my last 200. It's going to hold down. It's going to hold down. Again, you 200 the market. Correct. Well, took you out again. And then, remember, you are trading with people who have large accounts. Mm -hmm. $10,000 account, $100 it's account. Somewhere. This person can sustain this loss here. The market came back here, and then again, what? Usually, it's not there. <laughs> what break are you taking? Because the market is always moving. Have, have you ever seen when you don't have a network? What does the trading view tell you there? You are offline, the market is moving. That's the message that people always get. So there's no break, just make sure that you always keep your account active and your psychology on point. That's how you figure out people turning 600 to 50k. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? So uh, that's with impulse and impulse. So that's the secret. I think you, you call it. So the number of k you need to check every time you approach a zone what the volatility of candlesticks say. Are we having too much buying candles or too much selling candles? If it's too much selling candles, sellers are coming in hard. We know selling. If there's too much buying candles, we know, okay, cool. Then there's crossing buys. So uh, buy stops. Your orders are important. Yeah. Orders! Guys, I blew 5,000 USD. <laughs> 5,000 USD, I'm depressed. <laughs> Imagine I blew 5,000 USD today, excellent. It's, it's, you know, if I can tell you something, guys. In trading, hey man, Forex is it's stupid. It's dumb. And when you say to me, you blow account, I'm like, why? Because, okay, maybe you don't have the skill as yet, but... I honestly feel like the people who fed us forex fed us forex in a wrong way. They made it feel like it's a hard thing to do. Yes. <laughs> they made it feel like it's the hardest thing to do. That when you think about trading, already depression hits first before starting to learn. It, it's 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 really one of those things when you look at somebody do it, it's attractive. You just like oh shit. This is beautiful. I want to do this in one day. Right? But the minute you do it, you're like, hey, man, this thing of yours is hard. Yo, I see a lot of things. That, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. Find somebody to explain how Forex is. Well, like, yo, that thing is a lot. There's what, there's what, there's what, there's what. And then you tap back and be and put it in reality in, in reality. 
So one thing about me, I love emphasizing on reality. The reason I emphasize on reality is because I like facing challenges, not in the way that we're presented, but in the way that they present themselves. I have two questions, so you can ask your two questions. I have two questions, man. and you know me, I made up with <laughs> I made up with questions. So if you have an answer, just raise your hand to point you, and that's done. Amara, guys, me, please forgive me for this one. Man. This one, I'm, going, I'm just gonna have to do for the culture, bro. Can can you give her the money back? Ah, she can't be the woman alone. Ah, she did something. Just for the car, I'm a No, she's the only woman. Like, who's like like genuine? She's the only woman. If you don't have questions, me, I will. Why? 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 They are looking at each other now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here is the first question. Um, I think what sets you apart from other trainers is understanding the training training plan, and then what makes pure price question. I don't know. It's the question. Mm. It's understanding. You know, what makes pure price action best? Okay, it's a, what makes it best? It's it's patterns. Chart patterns. Yeah. The question is, what sets you apart from other traders? What I mean traders is you guys here. Alright? And what makes pure price action best? <clears throat> I'll give you another chance. Yeah. Do you want to answer again? Okay, <laughs> I'll answer now. Yeah, okay. I think what sets you apart from other traders is this management. Okay? We can open a trade depending on the level that we use, the block size, and our how much we just give the account. I might have a small account, you might have a big account. But at the end of the day, you with a big account, you might lose a lot rather than you with a small account, depending on my base. That's what sets us apart. Okay? And another question, what makes pure price action? What makes you pure price action is simple, your direction, you know market is Either you pass into the upside or to the downside. You know, we follow the impulse and situation. Give that man a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Do you know the most simplest questions are the most hardest? Yeah. Yeah. For example, I have another question. Yeah. Um, what is thinking? Thinking. Yeah. What is thinking? What is thinking? It's to process what you No, to process what you Easy. To process? Yeah. So basically, thinking is a process. Why not? It's not a process. It's not a process. Yeah. The process is. The process is what you, you are focused on when thinking. The question is, define thinking. What is thinking? What are you doing? What do you do when you're thinking? Yeah, it's it's the process, right? But for you to think, there's a focus that needs to be there. For example, are you thinking right now? Yeah. Why you are focusing on me? I'm focusing on you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you are thinking because you focus on the good guy. You understand? So that you see how simple that question is. Yeah. What is thinking? No, oh, but will you see that? Oh. <laughs> okay, now. I, I, so now you can ask another question. Okay. 
What makes a trading room? It's on the table. Ah, this one is mine. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, wow. Question. Well, you, can't, you can't answer no more. You can't answer. People are in there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Can I? Can I answer? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Trading can end. Not what makes a perfect trading room. No, it's just perfect. It's an art. Okay, what makes a trading plan is you allocating the money that you need to invest in the market according to the sizes that you're going to take in the market. Let's say you have a bank account. Let's say you are pushing it to $10 each. And then you say, okay, during this week, I'm going to risk $2 per trade. Then I'm going to make $10 per trade. Then every week you can go there. And then you are but and it's not your question. Let's go. Tell me if I'm wrong. You were saying no. I have a question. He said that he wasn't shaking your hand. He said he had a question. Why? Because I just said he was speaking about only risk. Yeah, you. That doesn't change the approach. What about the psychology? What about? You know what? You know what? <laughs> yeah, who can try that? Yeah. What, you, let me tell you what's the biggest good and problem with you. It's not a problem, it's a good problem. <laughs> you are too smart for my life. And this guru is too smart, man. Yeah. And <laughs> when he answers, he starts outsmarting the question. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like, you are smart. Trust me, that's good, actually. You are smart, but don't outsmart the question. Listen to the question, mm -hmm. he yeah. straight to the point. Yeah. Okay. You wanna try? Yeah. Alright. So what was the question? Uh, what is a trading plan, right? What makes a good trading plan? What makes a good trading plan? Um, I would say, um, um, what makes a good trading plan is all about um, the way you're approaching the market, based on what you're approaching the market. For example, they, they take full confirmation, the confidence. That means that if you see, if the price is at the support, right, you see a reversal pattern like a double bottom, and then after that, you must know how much you risk, and when when you enter, in, like, in which session you enter. So, so is it good if it's not working for you? Is it good because you're following something, following your own plan? Yes. But what if you're following a plan that leads to your It's fine, but you need to have a plan. I don't like even even though the plane is not working out, but you need to be sticking at something. You can't be jumping on other planes. Whether it's working or not, you learn from something. Okay. Yeah, you try you try. You try. Well done, guys. Speaking in your said what makes the best trade plan. So what we need to hear is what are the characteristics of a good trade plan? Is the key key heavy? Emphasized on one lead. What does that mean? And tell me two reasons why was he emphasized on that lead. Bench trading. You can't be you can't be trading literally maybe every day. Uh, so maybe after every two days. Because I guess I believe the markets not always move in the way that we want to. Mm. So I guess that's where the conversation has comes in to say I should wait I should wait for the best uh, for the best condition for me to trade that I uh, trade whatever that is good. You are in the right lane, but your explanation is not what we want to hear. Ah, you have answers. Keep quiet, Baba. <laughs> uh, let me just uh, try to put it in one way. Just stick to your winning trading plan. That's what makes the best a best forex trader. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. 
Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but there's no way you'd be disciplined to do wrong things. How do you dis- be disciplined? Can you give us the names of this? Mentions. <laughs> 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 yeah. mm. And again, you have to see these people as the common form as a person. So, this is a good thing. 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 Guys, on the, there's a video where I introduced everyone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. You are KK. Ah, what? Oh, <laughs> ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. KK. Uh. I forgot this guy. Oh. <laughs> 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 Don, be a phone. Put your phone here. I'm not going to Oh, yeah. What if someone knows five? So your win is on standby, my bro. Oh, what? Ha, ha, ha. Avana la sua visa, oh, what? Ha. This is Joey. Guys, this is Joey's. Gladwin. Papi X better. Papi. KK, Kenny, Tukiso, Kano, Tebza, Tebza. Wow. How about that? We've mentioned it. How many goodies are left? Oh, it looks like they're still alone. One, two, three, four, what, four. What do we need in order to break a sensitive What do we need in order to break a sensitive Ah, yeah. oh, what? Ah. In order to break Guys, your answers are right, ne? but your elaboration. One, two, three. A sensitive area. It's a trend. It's a zone. Oh, Just shit. A sensitive area. Oh, shit. I think I know what you want. Wait, how do you break it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to break a sensitive area, you need to first identify how the sensitive area was um, approached by the market mm. and then um, we were going, uh, we going to look for an impulse after it has touched uh, a zone. Are you aware the longer you go that's more you miss your answer? <laughs> <laughs> the longer you go you start not making sense. Start afresh, we'll give start you that afresh, chance. Start afresh, let's um, Summer. Summer. Mm. Uh, basically, in order to um, get in, to get, uh, wait, can you ask the question again? What do we need in order to make this? But I, I just feel like we can even say one way. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ah, come on. Ah, thank you. Simple. Simple. Ah, what I say? You said what? Impulse. But, but you didn't know this one. Oh, yeah. That's what we need. Oh, what are you doing? This one is too smart. This one. You can blame them. Give the, uh, the go about process of taking a trade. Okay. Yeah. From, okay, let's go. You give us five steps. Um, first, you have to identify the support and the resistance. In the support and the resistance, we go and identify um, uh, the 
touches. We're going to identify our touches, and then the touches are going to confirm whether it's rejecting a certain direction or confirm the retorial direction in there. And then it's three touches, it's three touches. Entwana, Entwana, and you are always near. Ah, what? I think we just check that uh, whether the message is it uh, ascending, descending, or and then from there you start uh, drawing your resistance as well as your what is your support. Then from there you check the momentum. Let's handle a set. At the momentum of the candles bullish or bearish then we all know that if ever the let's say the bullish candles are are more or are bigger than uh, selling candles. The, the descending candles then we know that uh, the overall direction is what is bias and driver all means to go not to go against the market as you can as an uh, example that i can do if the river is flowing that way you can't swim the opposite <laughs> give that man a bell. I give that man a bell. <laughs> we, must, we, must, we, must, we, must, we must put him on the one market analysis. Yeah. One market breakdown. Oh, yeah, well, this one was the one that was carrying. My question is, guys, uh, as a price buy section trader, what's the first thing you look at when you open your charts? Whether the mark will kick in hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, like they say that she raised my hand. Ah, it raised up, boy. It's fine. It's fine. I'll turn a good in now. Whether the market is in an uptrend or a downtrend. What, what was the question? Well, let's say as a price section trader, uh -huh. that's the first thing you get when you open your charts before I'm okay. before you mm -hmm. What did you say? Whether the market is in an uptrend or a downtrend. Ah, done, man. Uh -huh. Done. Thank you. And I was. <laughs> you, 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 you loves you. That was the question was simple. Yeah, that, that, that question was very simple. <laughs>